so we come to the end of your eyes only it's 10 to 9 here on saturday evening can't believe i've been going since friday afternoon three o'clock yesterday afternoon it's now what's that 24 25 26 27 28 29 uh just shy of 30 hours of james bond now uh and there's about 20 25 hours to go actually i should be finishing around 11 o'clock tomorrow night sunday night i think which is um bit scary actually thinking that but um we are now halfway through the films uh getting to the end of your eyes only which is uh, which is great um and it's a really good film actually as well i do like for your eyes only it's um it's you know back down down a notch from um these crazy special effects in star wars um Star Wars um, inspired Moonraker. Of course at the end of Spy Who Loved Me on the end credits it did originally say that the next film would be For Your Eyes Only but with George Lucas and the huge um, you know the, the huge box office success of the first Star Wars in the same year of release as Spy Who Loved Me obviously they, the Bond producers decided to cash in on that and make a big space Bond adventure Bond in outer space um, it doesn't particularly work. I was watching it with my partner at that point and she was just saying it just looks stupid and it does really. I mean the effects are good for the late 70s but you don't really want to see Bond in space. You want to see real peril and that's the kind of thing that you get in For Your Eyes Only. It's very back to basics and um, good characters. Roger Moore is particularly good in this one even though he's sort of early 50s now. He's he's good. He's good as Bond in this one. I ta I take him seriously, which is um, which is good. Which you don't often say about uh, Roger Moore playing James Bond, but in this one you can take him seriously. I mean, even with BB, for example, um, you know he knows that he's too old for BB. So even a young girl like that, he's not going to have his way with somebody who's uh, young enough to be his his daughter or even his granddaughter. Come to think of that. Um, so yeah, it's a good one. It's it's good. Um, For Your Eyes Only, an improvement on um, Moonraker. Now the next one I haven't watched for a while actually, Octopussy. So um, that one's coming up next. Um, I'll do a video after Never Say Never Again, which is um, coming after Octopussy. So we'll have a break between the last two Roger Moore films because we need to slot in the unofficial Sean Connery remake of Thunderball so um, that is coming up so Octopussy is the next film Never Say Never Again the next one and then the next one after that we say adios to Roger Moore with A View to a Kill check back for more soon <laughs>